Hey everybody, it's Farah, or you can find me at Canna Queen DGO on social media. This is Ashley. You can find her on at Smashly Grows on Instagram and other social media platforms. And this is Nugget. Most of you guys know him already, but if you don't, hey Nugget. Um, so he'll be helping us review today. We're going to review some edibles today. So a couple of the products that we're going to try today, uh, we've got some Coda chocolate, so we have some of their truffles, pull it up there, Crescendo, and then we also have some more Coda coffee and donuts chocolate, really, really tasty. Uh, you like these, this is one yeah, of your favorites. Yeah, they're my personal like favorite edible. They have a really great flavor to the milk chocolate. So we have these nice little dosed out portions, these are 10 milligram portions. Uh, some of the other products we're going to try here, uh, Lucky Turtle uh, spreads. We have three different ones that we're going to try with some apples there. That's a honey spread, and these are almond butter spreads here. And then just to bring a little savory taste into it, we have some Cannabis Queen out of Aspen jerky. So this is bison jerky, 10 milligram packages. It comes in 50 milligram uh, box, a box of 50 milligrams, so five of these in each box. So... Where do we want to start? Where do you want to start? Um, should we do savory or sweet first? Uh, let's start with sweet, okay. and then we can move into savory. Yeah, I always great. like to do dessert first. Me it's too. It's my favorite thing. Uh, where do you want to? You like these chocolates the most, so I'm yeah. going to go ahead and give one of these a shot. I haven't tried these yet. Cheers. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the coffee and donuts. Um, yeah, these are really enjoyable. 10 milligram um, servings. So you can break it into 10 milligrams. You can break one of these in half and eat five milligrams if you are more comfortable with that serving. I really like these. I would definitely recommend these to a consumer who is maybe a little bit, um, doesn't really love the taste of cannabis mm -hmm. so much in their edibles. This would be a really good edible for them to try. Mm. I, I definitely, like when I have someone um, come into the shop and they definitely want to try a new edible out and they don't want to have any taste or anything like that that's one of them I definitely recommend well whatever she's doing she's doing it right on this mm -hmm. chocolate I told people too like I always want to like have another bar like without THC to mm -hmm. balance it out but yeah I just want to eat the whole bar maybe if she sold it in like a two-pack like this I one know. has THC and this one doesn't it would be perfect uh, let's move on to the next one where do you want to what do you want to try do you, you think we spreads? should try one of the spreads? Yeah, let's try these spreads. I think that'll have a little bit of that savory and that sweet too because it's almond butter. Uh, we also have honey and peanut butter coconut spread here as well. I think what's great also with the spread is um, you can put it on like some apples or you could even like put it on like celery. So you can have some options with that. It's like a snack on the go. It is 10 milligram dosing. So this is a, a relatively regular dose or a low dose uh, for some consumers. Again, you could just use half the package or the full package. Um, and it would just be like any of those different types of uh, butters that come in the single serving package. So I just took a spoon and I mixed this up a little bit. Uh, and then I'm just going to put some on my apple. Do you want to... Do the same. Yeah, the spoon here in a second. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. The flavor is so good on that. Mm-hmm. Again, 10 milligram package. You could really potentially eat the whole package and still be pretty mellow. As far as not overconsumption, no overconsumption there. You could just make like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with this so bread good. and it would be perfect. It would be so perfect. It would Ooh. have the right amount of medicated and unmedicated. This is really good. This is very comparable if you like Justin's nut butter or any of those organic types of peanut butters or almond butters. This is super comparable to that. I really enjoy it. Highly recommended. I want to try uh, this oil infused honey. Mm. because the reason I want to try it is because I did really enjoy the almond butter but I also know that sometimes lighter flavors carry that heavy cannabis flavor so let's just get a good idea of whether or not this has a strong um, cannabis flavor to it um and what else is great about this honey is it has CBD in it too so Ooh, it's nice, 10 yeah. and 10 so it has the, oh it is 10 and it's 10 10 and 10 so it has um, 10 milligrams of THC and CBD I just mixed it up a little bit in the package, which you can totally do. You don't need a spoon for it. 
It looks so you can see it looks like honey, like a thick honey. It like, does look like a th like a thick raw honey. Like a raw honey, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So. Mmm. Mmm. I can definitely taste the cannabis in mm -hmm. this one. But if you don't enjoy that taste, the honey's probably not for you. I would say go with the almond butter spread or the peanut butter coconut spread. They also are... have a, 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 a hazelnut coconut spread. It's my favorite. There you you can mix it up with some like raspberries and whipped cream and mix it up for like Ooh, a dessert. That sounds it's delicious. delicious. <laughs> it's one of my favorite. Like if you want to settle down for the evening and have a nice little buzz, it's one of my favorites. We have two more on the table. We have mm -hmm. uh, still the jerky. I'm going to save that for last since it's like savory across the board. No sweetness in that. We're going to go ahead and try these Crescendo chocolates. These are again from Coda. So that's where the coffee and donuts came from. Uh, we have the Crescendo. Uh, there we go. That's a better way to see it. If you can see inside here, it tells you what the flavors are. These look exactly like exactly like what I got in my package. So first of all, presentation is A plus. Astounding. A plus 100%. It's amazing. Um, I really want to try this burnt caramel. We should um, cut it in half and see split it, it. Split it and see if it has that liquid caramel to it or if it's like a thicker caramel. So I'm gonna cut this in half. It's so beautiful. I kind of have hurt, hurts my feelings a little bit. I know, right? Oh, but it is. It's like liquidy. Liquid. Oh, it's caramel. so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna try this little piece right here. Mm. She has a few different um, flavors. Um, the Forte is a passion fruit and also a hazelnut. Mm which is a good one. And then strong, the peanut strong. butter and raspberries Sorry. are great if you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, so, first opinion of the caramel, it's good. But again, you can still taste a little bit of that canvas in the background. Yep. I like it though. I would definitely enjoy them just regularly. They're a beautiful present for like Christmas or bir oh, you know, birthday. Oh yeah, I would love you to know, get this in my great. stocking. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would be really happy for like a birthday or you know, Santa left you a beautiful little crescendo box in your stocking. Yay, Santa! Yeah. Okay, the next one we're gonna try is the lemon. Is this lemon? Juniper and lemon. So this is white chocolate. It is made with, uh, it's lightly scented with juniper berries Ooh. and lemons. So because of the light flavor, I think this is probably going to taste like cannabis too. Really wow, beautiful. beautiful. There's the other side. On the... Let's give this those a are shot. beautiful. Yeah, those are really nice. I like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. The lemon is mm -hmm. so good in this. So if you get that lemon from that, you know, truffle, you should definitely try your cream and crumble. You would love that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just a slight, slight taste on that, mm -hmm. but nothing major. It's amazing because I just wish she had some regular chocolates out there too because I'm, I'm just amazed how good she has yeah. done in the edible. She does an amazing job. So this one is the Earl Grey's milk chocolate infused with the Earl Grey tea and sweetened with local Colorado honey. So, buy local. Mmm. That's like having um, mm. kind of like a... a chocolate cream filled truffle that's like what it tastes like um i don't really get a lot of the earl gray in it a little bit in the cream but for sure i definitely think i get more of the chocolate more though. chocolate yeah mm, that one's delicious uh definitely give uh coda a shot their their candies she is she's an amazing chocolatier and she did an amazing job on these uh the last product that we're going to try is the savory so we're going to end Ooh. with savory uh we have Cannabis Queen Teriyaki Jerky. Again, these are 10 milligram packages. And what I really love about this package, this is one of my favorite things about this package. So this comes in it. And if you can see here, this is an edibles education card. You know that you should wait for an hour to an hour and a half prior to taking a second dose. Uh, this is a great reminder. So this comes in every single package. And I really love that. So kudos to Cannabis That's Queen great. Aspen for that. I love that. Um, educate as we as we medicate. This is bison jerky. Uh, so let's give it a shot. Ah, uh, there it is. Mmm. Good consistency, like beef jerky. I like that. I don't personally taste the flavor in this, 
But I, don't. I think if you have a sensitive palate, you might. I like the jerky, and let me tell you why. Like that we cannot get away from the sweet edibles, and I've been really waiting for somebody to create a, a convenient savory edible that people enjoy, right? Uh, so there are a couple edibles companies out there that are doing this, and Cannabis Queen Aspen is absolutely one of those companies. Uh, so yeah, I like that. I, I love that that part about it. Overall, I think that everything we tried here today was pretty much two thumbs up. Just a quick review of what we went over today. We uh, we talked about the the Coda Signature Chocolate, so we tried the coffee and donuts. Uh, I believe there are three different varieties of this. Yeah, so, no, actually there's four, four different, four different out there now. So we have that one, so we Coda Signature Chocolates. Uh, we also tried from Coda, we tried their Crescendo. And that was their truffles right there. Mm hmm It also has a forte. Mm -hmm. And she also has a peanut butter and raspberry one too. So these and then all of both of these packaging have ten milligram dosage dosages in them. So those are very very relatively average doses. And then we also tried uh, the different lucky turtle spreads. So we tried the almond butter, we tried, well, we didn't try the peanut butter today, but we did try the almond butter and we tried the honey spread today. Uh, the almond butter definitely uh, covered the flavor of cannabis more than the honey did. Uh, both were relatively thick in consistency. You definitely want to mix them up prior to opening the package, uh, but very flavorful. Um, I enjoyed eating them for sure. We're I gonna, did. We're going to finish these packages. I did. We're yeah. probably definitely going to yeah. finish out. Um, definitely. It's a, a good one to pick up if you're hiking or you know wanting to just uh, lay in the park and eat a snack. It's a great one to pick up. The last product that we tried today was the Cannabis Queen uh, Jerky. So that's Cannabis Queen out of Aspen, Colorado. 50 milligrams in the box. Overall, I would say pick up some Cannabis Queen Aspen uh, Jerky. The Bison mm -hmm. Jerky is amazing. I didn't really taste the flavor. If you have a sensitive palate, you might taste it a little bit. Uh, but man, that is good. That tasted just like a jerky that mm -hmm. you would get in the store. I see this company expanding for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I'm excited to see what else you guys put out on the market. So keep it coming, Cannabis Queen. Yep. From one can of queen to another, you keep <laughs> it coming. All right, so that's all we have to review today. Uh, thanks for joining me today, Ash. Yeah, no problem. Your thanks input was valuable. Me. Yeah, it was great. Uh, so yeah, see you next week. Thanks for joining us from Can of Queen DGO. Smashly grows. Go check us out on Instagram and uh, like our review. And if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to keep them coming every week. Thanks so much. See ya.